Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we take a look at a free program called Hijack This, and we're going to be using that to scan the system, which will then create a log file, and we're going to be able to look at that log file and decipher it and find out whether we've got any infections on the system. So first off, we're going to be needing to get our free program from Trend Micro uh, called Hijack This, and you can either get the beta version or the uh, more uh, stable version of 2.04. Just hit the installer or the executable buttons down here to actually download your choice. Now Hijack This is a free utility that uh, generates an in-depth report of the registry and the file settings on your computer which allows you to determine whether you've got any malware, trojan or rogue processes running on the system which will allow you to then delete them basically. Now it's pretty hard to decipher some of these log files if you don't know what you're looking for and this is why a lot of people post them onto forums and let experts have a look at them. I'm going to show you a little way to help yourself by using a forum, uh, a website to actually decipher these log files. So let's have a look at the program itself. Now the first screen you're going to see is this screen and most people will just click straight on the uh, do a system scan and save the log file but if you know what you're doing a little bit you can come in here and have a little look inside here okay and then hit on the uh, config button and uh, just leave these where they are here and come into miscellaneous tools now from here we've got a load of little options that we can use okay we can generate a startup list log file now this is uh, pretty useful just click on yes and this will create up a, a log file of all the uh, programs that are running on startup now as you well know malware loves to run at startup so as you can see this is going to be very useful to post and uh, understand what's going on in your system. We also have Open Process Manager. This gives us all the processes. Again, Rogue Processes love running and this will give us the processes. We can show the DLL files. We can actually kill processes as well from this location by lighting them up and uh, hitting on the uh, kill process. Let's go back and uh, we can have a look at the host file which gets infected by uh, by malware and stuff like that okay let's go back and also we can open this up in uh, notepad as well and as you can see delete file on reboot very useful tool and if you want to click on something to delete you can d click on the actual executable file that you want to delete and it will actually delete that file on reboot okay so also we've got a delete an NT service if you wanted to do that you can do that and also open the ADS spy and also we've got open uninstall manager now from there we can actually delete this entry or edit the uninstall command or basically hit the add and remove software list and we can actually save this list as well okay to let people know save list to let them know what you've got running in your add and remove programs sometimes you get rogue uh, toolbars in there and stuff like that and people can see it and let you uninstall it okay and that's pretty much it for that location let's go back to the main menu I'm just going to quickly do a quick scan let me just delete that file there because I've got to copy of that this is a log file that's been created now so I'm just going to save this like so onto the desktop that's saved and we can now if you know what you're doing and you know what's ro what rogues are and what are malicious files you can actually put the ticks in these if you wanted to in the ones that you know and actually fix the checked ones okay and it will fix them if you don't know what you're doing leave it well alone okay so let's have a little look at a log file that I have here that's got some infections on it I'm just going to go to edit and select all right click and copy I'm going to come to this website here now you can either browse the file and upload it if it's on your desktop you can browse to that location and upload the log file I find it just as easy just to paste it in there really um, and then click on the analyze button this will analyze the log file as you can see now this is not 100% accurate so you can't use just this method you've got to know a little bit what you're doing as well but it's good if you're starting out and you want to understand a little bit how it works okay so as you can see it starts to find 
certain files in its database and as you can see extremely nasty and it's called salem.exe it's in a temp folder so now you know where it's located you can delete that file and if you had trouble deleting it you could actually run some spyware removal programs and it will remove it if you can't go into pre-installed environment and delete it that way or maybe use a hijack this and delete it on boot up okay remember we talked about that you go to this location and delete it simple as that so let's have a little look what else is found it's ts2.exe and so on and so on now you may think some of these might be dodgy and you want to check them out well I'm going to show you how to do that as well so there's some other stuff down here as you can see so let me just shut this down a sec and open up our next website called process uh, library this gives us uh, processes I've got a few here that we can check smasher.exe that was in that uh, list we need to do is just click on search this will then give us the actual ad smasher from uh, popupstop.com click on this and it will give you all the information about what that process is now as you can see it's not been uh, some rated at the moment doesn't mean it's not dangerous it just means it hasn't been rated by people uh, maybe it's not that popular but um, as you can see it just shows you where it's located as a process and you can see okay read all about it very very useful site okay so let's go for this one just go back so you can check your processes search that one and you can see this one belongs to the advertising program target saver and also processes uh, this process monitors your browsing habits which is not very nice and you can come in there and have a little quick look and as you can see it's been given a middle rate in there which means it's pretty dangerous okay and uh, just read up all about it but now we know where it resides process and so on okay so that's how you check your processes as well you can use Pr process explorer as well and you'll see it running but now you can actually check it out and find out all about it another thing you can do if you don't know what uh, files are you can actually go to other sites like Jolt or places like that or Jotty I think it's called let's see if we can find that site for you I think it's called uh, Jotty something like that double T I can't even there we go and this site you can actually upload the file if you can to this site and it will actually scan it and tell you whether it's an infection on that file or whatever see so it gives you information there as well okay so I hope you enjoy these videos my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember hit the subscribe button guys and uh, show your support and thanks again for watching uh, keep your PC clean and uh, keep watching my videos thanks a lot for watching bye for now